morning everyone and welcome to your Saturday morning tip. This is going to be about teaching aids and how they can help you with the swing that you so want and desire. So as instructors, um, we have a plethora of uh, teaching aids to choose from and I'm just going to go over some of my favourites. So if you're struggling with your grip, we actually have a moulded grip here with the perfect neutral grip for you to, to feel. Really good if you're struggling with um, getting that feel of a right grip or the correct grip. Um, this one here is called the swing guide. I can show you from face on, it's got a little attachment to the club. And what this does, it just sets you in that perfect position at the top of the back swing right there. So you get that nice high hinge there and you can feel that connection with the, the left, the lead forearm, the club set at the top of the back swing right there. Really good guide, literally, if you're struggling to find that set at the top of the back swing. Um, one of my all-time favourites, no question about it, is the impact bag. Why do I like this so much? Because it is the most important part of the golf swing. If you can get back to here, the impact, where the handle's leading, the weight's on your outside of your lead foot, and your chin's behind the ball, you're going to hit better shots, especially with irons. How many of you are falling back trying to help it up and feel like that at impact? Probably not hitting good golf shots. So right here, just whack the impact bag a couple of times. It's a really good sensation. Without doubt, the best teaching aid ever invented. So come and use it. And close second to that is the anti-flip stick. This is phenomenal for those people that are struggling with their short game. Highly recommend you put this on your wish list. Simply attaches to the end of the club like this. And what it forces you to do it forces you to rotate, clear, and then hold your angle like this as you finish. Back of the lead hand is nice and flat. There's still a little bit of an angle on that trail hand. So we're coming through like so, like this. That will help your chipping and pitching tremendously because if you're doing this, you're not going to have fun with a chip shot. So anti-flip stick. And then lastly, the orange whip. Really good for loosening up, just simply swing back and forth like this, just a couple of times. The club, the, the aid never touches the ground, but it just is there to loosen up the core, get your muscles activated, get you loosened up, ready to whack that wee white ball when you get to the first tee. So use these teaching aids whenever the instructors are not. Uh, they're all here to help you and they will help you, especially the ones we've talked about. Okay, I know everyone watching wants to get better at this crazy game. And if you want to do that, then practice with some of these teaching aids. They really will help you. Start off with that grip. If your grip's not right, find a club that's got a moulded grip on it so it teaches you the feel of the correct neutral grip. If you're not set at the top of the backswing correctly, get yourself a swing guide and feel how the forearm and wrist kind of point at the top of the backswing. Then if your impact's not right, you're going to have trouble. So of all the teaching aids that Mama Cat talked about today, use that impact bag. It will help you. It'll make you feel where you're supposed to be at impact. You're, most of your weight should be in that left outside of your lead foot by the time you get back to the ball. And you're always leading with the handle. And the kicker with the impact, you've got to make sure that chin point's behind the ball. If you're looking way up, you're probably not going to like what you see. If you look up too early, you won't like what you see. So make sure the impact bag's in your daily or weekly practice schedule. Then there's the orange whip. That orange whip gets your body loosened up. It's a really good way to feel that transition from the dress position to the top of your backswing to the follow through and do it in a continuous motion so you get the feeling of what your body's supposed to do. Hope this helps, folks. I know it will. Keep the faith.